is the iMotor 3 worth for you? And you know, like the answer in all of those videos, well, it depends. Hello guys, it has been 6 months. Today we are going to talk about my experiences with the iMotor 3, is it worth buying and what I encountered. I just wanted to add, this is my opinion, uh, I hope this will be useful for you and you can decide for yourself if you would like to buy the iMotor 3 or not. Without out of the way, let's go. The first point that I want to make, the iMotor 3 is very easy to install. That's a big plus for me because I want to remove it from time to time to go mountain biking. I'm using the same bike and then it's pretty much easier to install it back on. You just put the wheel in, adjust the brakes, bolt it in and you're ready to go. If that's something that you would like, that's definitely a plus. Second, the iMotor 3 is very competitive in the price per quality section. So if you want to buy uh, something cheap and easy to install, that's the motor for you. Third thing, it's fast. The iMotor 3 is fast. The feature that it can go like on its own is perfect for me. It gets uh, pretty addicting from time to time. So uh, you need to be careful with that. Uh, you get used to the speed and then after that, if it doesn't reach that speed or uh, you don't pedal enough, you're not satisfied anymore. The iMotor 3 can go 25 to 28 kilometers per hour without you pedaling if the terrain is smooth and there are not any inclines or declines, which is quite nice. Another thing for the speed section is the following. I tested going to work with a normal city bike that I had before with the same bike that I have now without the iMotor 3 and with the iMotor 3 uh, itself and the differences are amazing. I need to bike to work like 6.5 kilometers. If I go with the city bike, normal biking, uh, it's not a race or anything like that. I need to go for 25 minutes. If I go with my uh, current bike, the mountain bike, without the iMotor 3, I go there for 20 minutes, which I say 5 minutes of time. And if I go with the iMotor 3 on my bike, I go for 16 to 15 minutes with it, depending on if I'm assisting the motor or I'm just letting the motor drive me to work and back, which is amazing. You save like four extra minutes to five extra minutes of your time uh, just in one direction going somewhere. Imagine if you go for the full range, I think that's investment well spent. Like the time is your greatest asset. So if you look at it like that, perfect. Also keep in mind that this is when there is not that much traffic on the road. Here in the Netherlands we have huge bike lanes. Uh, even if they're bikers I can easily pass them on the other lane. And especially at night when I'm coming back from work. The terrain is free so I can go as fast as possible without any problems. Another thing connected to the speed that I already mentioned is the fact that you can decide not to pedal with this bike and the bike is just going to bring you to your destination, which is quite cool to me. If you're tired, especially after work or you want to save your strength going somewhere, not get sweaty, I get very sweaty. This is amazing. Like you arrive on your destination fresh and you don't need to care about a thing. You can even be late a few minutes, which happens to me and the iMotor is going to compensate for that. So big plus here. The next thing uh, that was amazing to me is that uh, you can use the iMotor 3 without connecting it to the mobile app. Something that especially the people that are going to use it for uh, delivery service might be amazed with. In a normal uh, circumstance, you should use the Bluetooth of your phone and connect it to the iMotor 3 so you can regulate the gears. But uh, in this case, uh, what I tried was just to turn the iMotor 3 and start pedaling. Well, it, it works guys. It works perfectly. I think it remembers the speed that you are using the most, so mostly that's the middle range of 25 kilometers per hour. And then you can use your phone for uh, Google Maps or to charge it with the iMotor 3, etc. Listen to music and you don't need to even bother checking out the iMotor 3 app. Here in the Netherlands it rains a lot, so a lot of people are asking me, is this waterproof? Well, so far I didn't have any problems with it. The main reason I think it's because the port of the battery that's connected with the iMotor 3 is well covered inside and it's on the top of the battery itself. So even if rain comes up, everything drips down this line and you're pretty safe. I don't recommend you leaving your iMotor outside for a long time on the rain because that won't be good for it. 
but if you're traveling to destination and you pass through some puddles, amazing, nothing happens to it, performs very good. A few times even I went on a football game to play with my mates and it was raining normally. I just parked the iMotor outside with the battery still in. We played for like maybe an hour, hour and 20 minutes. I finished my game, I turned it on and I went home. It can definitely stay outside in the wet. Just take some precautions and don't leave your eye motor outside for too long. Another thing, the range. 40 kilometers, I think it's a pretty decent range for a bike from this price point. And I tried it on different settings and speeds and I managed to reach exactly 40 kilometers of range, which was quite nice. Also, keep into account that this depends on uh, your weight, also on the terrain. Another thing, the temperature, you know, with electricity and batteries, if it gets colder, they uh, lose some of the range. You can always check the range here and you can decide, usually when it goes to the two marks at the end, especially the one mark, you can really feel slight decline in performance and the uh, iMotor 3 becomes more hesitant, sometimes uh, it takes more time to help you. Oh, another important thing, maybe you were thinking, okay, I, I get out of range in the middle of the road, it happens, what now? I need to push the iMotor home, can I bike with it, should I remove the battery? Well, I tested that out for you, especially in the first time that I was going around with it, I wanted to see what will happen and I uh, depleted the battery completely. Then uh, the iMotor switch uh, disconnects on uh, its own with the mobile app and it turns off the battery on its own and you can still bike with it. I biked uh, with the battery, without the battery. It's a bit heavy to start in the beginning but after the motor starts rolling it's not uh, that much of a hassle. Of course you can feel that uh, you have something extra on your bike but you can make it home pretty safe. It's uh, quite a nice uh, workout if you think about it that way. And that were all the pros that uh, I wanted to discuss. In the past couple of months, I got a lot of comments asking different things about the iMotor 3. So here I want to answer those comments and to maybe give you further information for things that you might be interested about with the iMotor 3. So the first thing, is it true that the iMotor 3 can reach uh, 40 km an hour? It depends. In my case, I almost reached it. Fastest I went was 38 km per hour. To do that, I changed the back tire for a smoother tread. Also, you have to pedal a lot to get that far. The weight also gets a factor in this, in the acceleration of the bike and in the top speed. Keep that into account when you're trying to reach these kind of speeds. Uh, next thing, the charging time. I tested it and it takes definitely more. I think 30 minutes to one hour more if you want to fully charge uh, the battery. So you need to keep this in mind when you're preparing preparing for a trip, charge your battery preferably the day before so you're sure that you have the full amount of range. A lot of people were asking me about the thumb throttle. If you order the bike, it doesn't come with it. You need to order it separately. I didn't order it because uh, here I need to register the bike as a scooter if I have the throttle and I didn't want to do that to save money. Maybe in the future I can order it so we can test if the performance of the bike gets better or it's easier to ride with the thumb throttle. We were talking about the weight. The iMotor 3 can support maximum of 180 kilograms of um, the weight of the rider. So bear that in mind. Another important thing is how the iMotor 3 is working. In the beginning, when you turn it on, you need to pedal for a bit to reach a speed of 5 km per hour and then the motor starts working with you. But uh, please be careful uh, when you are turning on the motor and you're trying to exit your house or to turn it around or something. If you turn it around too fast, it might uh, reach this uh, speed of 5 km of hour and it might go away just like a scooter. This happened to me uh, once and I was lucky enough to react and to press the brakes. So please keep that in mind so you don't have an unfortunate uh, silly accident. The last thing, does this iMotor 3 have a warranty? Well, it does. It says that the warranty is one year. And always wear a helmet with the iMotor 3. Yeah, it's a bike, but still as with the mopeds and the scooters, when you fall, you really understand how fast you are going and with all the bruises and stuff like that, it's not nice. So better look like the idiot sometimes, like some people say, and wear a helmet than being the tough guy. And here we are guys at the juicy part, the cons. Should you buy it? Should you not buy the iMotor 3? Let's get with it.
I want to make a special shout out to Brian. Hello Brian, I know that you're watching. He's one of my biggest fans and he's really motivating me to continue with this series. I slowed it down for a bit due to some circumstances and the situation that is happening right now with uh, these flus going around. Hey Todor! Oh, hello Brian! What is this? Like I thought that you're making your videos. Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be coming soon. I came here to give you some proper motivation. <laughs> But he really pushed me, he wanted to see more videos, so here is the first video of many. Thank you for the support Brian and thanks to all my su subscribers for the support. Please uh, like and share the video, subscribe for more and I will see you soon in the next one.